BTK inhibitors are not currently approved by the FDA for the treatment of patients with RAPS refractory large B-cell lymphoma. There are the, uh, several clinical trials trying to investigate their efficacy both in the frontline and salvage setting. The um, uh, initial reason why we started to look into the utilization of BTK inhibitors for large B-cell lymphoma is that in 2015, in a phase one, two trial, including uh, almost 80 patients, with re re relapsed refractory large B cell lymphoma, higher response rates and longer overall survival were observed for patients with uh, what we call non-GCB or ABC subtype, which is a specific cell of origin they were able to identify through gene expression profiling or more commonly through immunostochemistry and enhanced algorithm. So they pointed to the possibility that we may utilize cell of origin to identify subgroups of large B cell lymphoma patients who may be responsive to BTK inhibitors. As a next step, ibrutinib in that case was combined with RCHOP in the frontline setting in a very large randomized trial called the Phoenix trial, where RCHOP plus ibrutinib was compared to RCHOP plus placebo. Unfortunately, the trial was negative. The primary endpoint was represented by event-free survival. However, in a post-doc pre-plan analysis limited to patients who had non-GCB subtype and were younger than 60, so where treatment delivery was easier because of younger age, the primary endpoint was met. This has brought to the development of multiple clinical trials that are now looking into the combination of our job with safer BTK inhibitors, such as acalabrutinib. Results from the phase one, two trial, the ACCEPT trial, have already read out, and the combination seems to be safe. There's an ongoing larger randomized phase two trial, the Remodel A, and also a larger randomized phase three trial, where 600 patients will be randomized with a ratio of one to one to receiving RCHOP plus SACALA or RCHOP plus placebo. This is the Escalade trial. And we're also looking into the combination of ACALA with uh, RICE, so platinum-based salvage chemo immunotherapy in the relapsed refractory setting. There are also newer BTK inhibitors, such as Zanubrutinib, that have shown some significant activity, even as a single agent. When we look into specific genetic clusters, like, such as MCD, which is characterized by the co-presence of MYD88 mutation and CD79B mutation, though we hope that as these trials will read out in the near future, we will finally see, thanks to also the utilization of genetic aberrations and predictive biomarkers, we'll see more of an integration of BTK inhibitors along with chemo therapy for patients with large B cell lymphoma.